In this huge factory spanning the size of two football fields, 400,000 color markers are produced daily. Interestingly, the same ingredient found in your breakfast cereal is what gives the fluorescent ink its vibrant glow. So, how exactly are these markers made? In this video, we will explore the process behind creating one of the world's best-selling highlighters. The history of fluorescent markers dates back to the 1960s, when they were first introduced to the market as a revolutionary tool to highlight and emphasize information in documents. The highlighter was invented by Dr. Frank Hahn, an employee at Carter's Ink Company. In 1962, inspired by the felt tip pen invented by Japanese inventor Yukio, Dr. Hahn developed the first fluorescent ink. This invention marked a significant advancement in office supplies. In 1963, Carter's Ink Company launched the first fluorescent markers under the brand name Highlighter. These markers stood out from conventional markers by using fluorescent inks that highlighted text without concealing it. In the 1970s, fluorescent markers became widely popular in offices, schools, and academic environments. Their vibrant and attention-grabbing colors made them essential tools for highlighting text, enhancing the study and organization of information. It all begins in the picturesque town of Weissenburg in Bayern, Germany. Surprisingly, this small historic town is home to the international hub of highlighter production. In this charming city, the Stabilo Boss brand manufactures 400,000 highlighters daily. These school supplies are produced from plastic granules in this expansive factory, roughly the size of two football fields. This factory generates a staggering 85 million fluorescent markers each year. In the production process of the markers, four tons of high-quality plastic granules are used daily. These granules, delivered by large tanker trucks, are sufficient to produce two million markers. The fluorescent yellow marker is the best-selling variety. The granules are first pumped into massive 30-ton silos, where a mixer blends the different colors before they are fed into a high-temperature injection molding machine. The marker consists of five fundamental components – the body, the ink reservoir, the tip holder, and the cap. The color, however, is not immediately visible. Initially, only yellow rectangles are visible, which form the core of the marker. The marker body is crafted from precisely colored and melted plastic granules. In just five seconds, the marker bodies are molded, with the force applied equivalent to the weight of 350 elephants. The plastic then cools rapidly, solidifying in seconds. Cooled by water, 32 newly molded bars drop into a container below. This impressive process, combining precision, technology, and creativity, results in 32 marker cartridges being produced every 17 seconds. The cartridges, along with other plastic components, arrive at the assembly line where the remaining parts are produced using similar principles. Each day, a total of 360,000 individual pieces are manufactured, largely through automated processes. The cap features a special inner mechanism that ensures the marker tip fits snugly with a characteristic click sound. Additionally, both the cap and the marker seal are made from 30% recycled plastic. The machines operate at full speed 24 hours a day, ensuring continuous production. The pieces are then directed to the assembly line, where they are transformed into complete markers. First, the marker receives its distinctive face, with the Stabilo Boss logo applied by a specialized machine. This machine also prints the barcode, providing an essential mark of authenticity and distinguishing the markers from low-quality imitations and counterfeits. Next, the ink reservoir is added to the marker body. In the final phase, round sponges are pressed into the body, completing the assembly and preparing the marker for use. Until 1971, the market offered only conventional felt markers. The 1970s brought a significant change with the introduction of fluorescent pigments, which revolutionized how we highlight and mark information. This innovation not only transformed the marking process, but also solidified the company's international reputation. Despite many imitators, the highlighter continues to be a global bestseller. It ensures that highlighted text remains clear and eye-catching, without being obscured or crossed out. In the laboratory, chemists are tasked with formulating the precise composition of the fluorescent pigment. To date, humanity has used 12.5 million liters of fluorescent pigment, which is enough to create a glowing path from Earth to the Sun more than five times. 
A key component in creating the ink that glows is sugar. Remarkably, this everyday ingredient, commonly added to cereal, is essential for making the fluorescent ink shine. When the dye solution is mixed into the emulsion, a special chemical reaction is triggered by the sugar, transforming standard yellow paint into vibrant fluorescent paint with its distinctive glow. The process of incorporating fluorescent color into the marker resembles the laboratory procedures, but on a much larger scale. In the factory, an operator mixes the ingredients in a large vat to produce 500 liters of fluorescent yellow paint, which, despite its vivid color, remains non-toxic. To ensure each marker writes properly, exactly 6 milliliters of this color is needed per marker. The machine injects the color through fine tubes into the marker's sponge, filling the ink reservoir with fluorescent ink. Precision is crucial in this step to maintain a consistent flow of ink. After filling, the marker is sealed to prevent evaporation, and the final assembly takes place. The tip is securely inserted into the marker body to prevent any leaks, completing the marker's production. This is how up to 400,000 Stabilo markers are produced daily, totaling 85 million annually. But why does the fluorescent color shine? Fluorescent colors don't glow on their own. They require light to appear vibrant. Light consists of both long and short wavelengths, with short wavelengths being less visible to the human eye. Fluorescent paint absorbs these shorter wavelengths and re-emits them as longer wavelengths, enhancing the visibility of the writing and creating the impression that the marked text shines. The paint acts like a mirror, reflecting light more effectively than other colors and contributing to its bright, glowing effect. This difference is particularly noticeable under ultraviolet light. To ensure maximum durability, the markers undergo rigorous hardness tests. The tips must fit precisely and pass color, ink flow, and tightness tests. With a new marker being produced every second, there isn't time to inspect each batch individually. Instead, machines verify that the markers write uniformly and clearly for a specified duration. Each color undergoes stringent testing, including a writing marathon of nearly 400 meters. The markers must achieve a writing length of at least 375 meters, equivalent to the height of a skyscraper, to meet high performance and durability standards. After passing their rigorous tests, the markers are swiftly packaged at an impressive rate of 1,000 per minute. From there, they embark on their journey to desks, school backpacks and hotel receptions around the globe. As they make their way into the hands of users everywhere, these highlighters proudly continue their legacy as the world's best-selling choice for brightening up text and making information stand out. If you want to know how Bic pens are made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.